Details now about a new scam in Maribel. City leaders tell us they've not seen one like this before. And it's because the strategy that these scammers are using, it's making it easier for people to fall for. Our John Biersos tells us the red flags that you need to be on the lookout for. I'm not sure that we've gotten one similar to this one. Phone scams are always a threat. Maryville's administrative services director says a common one is when scammers call people, tell them their utility bill is overdue, and threaten to shut off their electricity unless they pay over the phone. But a new one going around takes a new approach. The scammer went forward with saying, yes, you qualify, and we can get you 35% off of your utility bill. Jane Groff says they first heard of this scam on Monday and have gotten a handful of tips about it since. She says at least one person has fallen for it, although it's unknown how much that person lost. I do know that the numbers that showed up on caller ID were local, so they were probably spoofing those numbers. Groff says there are several red flags. First, she says Merrillville does not call its utility customers. Plus, they do not offer discounts on their bills, and they do not demand payment over the phone. Anybody who's offering you something that maybe sounds too good to be true, um, that's that's a little bit of a red flag. Groff says the police department is aware of the scam and the city is encouraging people to report any scams to the police department or the city. In Maryville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Now, only a handful of people have contacted the city to report the scam. That's what we're hearing, but she does suspect there may be more cases where the scam has gone unreported.